like I said, there's there's common ones, there's ones that we don't know about, but you see all the time. And you just said rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. So like what's one of the big things that happens with, with RA? Great question. So rheumatoid arthritis essentially is inflammation in your joints, typically the smaller joints, so mm -hmm. fingers, um, hands, feet, knees, wrists, elbows, um, but essentially it can affect multiple joints. Gotcha. Um, and it is, again, autoimmune, and we don't know exactly what causes it. Mm -hmm. um, but there are certain um, genes associated with it, and then the environmental factors that we know um, our risk factors are smoking, which induces the immune system in a way that regulates and triggers uh, rheumatoid arthritis, as well as obesity is now more recently been associated with the development of rheumatoid arthritis. So those are some preventative measures if you're a smoker, if you're overweight, is, is there any other recommendations that you guys are seeing that may help with preventative measures? So just in general, um, maintaining a healthy lifestyle for any autoimmune disease or any disease in general is going to be important. So maintaining a balanced diet, um, which we typically recommend the Mediterranean diet. Um, people often ask it's about is one too. <laughs> <laughs> people often ask about is there an anti-inflammatory diet? Well, an anti-inflammatory diet can mean different things to different people and different diseases. So I generally tell patients, unless they have another comorbidity where there's certain foods that they should avoid, um, just generally exercise 150 minutes at least a week of aerobic exercise and maintaining um, a diet, balanced diet, low fat, high protein, a lot of leafy greens. It's the best thing you can do. Don't smoke, but one out of three is probably not good enough to prevent, right? <laughs> <laughs>